Hey, hey, hey. Tom for another out of this world story from our space. She's pregnant. She's having the baby. I will be in the child's life and there's nothing you can do about it. Posting this on behalf of a friend. She's not on here, but I told her you guys give good advice. My friend is nine months pregnant. She's due any day now. Recently, her partner of six years has been doing business with a new client. I'm often with my friend and I noticed this woman at my friend's baby shower. Her partner said he was her business partner and they were working together. This work led them to work trips to different places and he usually does do client work and meetings etc. Anyway, we observed this lady was just always around. She'd be at the house sometimes for dinner. She was just always there. His new business partner? I remember once he even gave my friend a ride home and the girl was with him and he dropped my friend off and they left together after it was 8 p.m. for a work dinner. I thought something was up, but my friend is pregnant and already stressed, so I didn't say anything. The woman in question is incredibly attractive. This stuck out. When we met her, we were saying how stunning she was, and they just seemed too familiar with each other. She even slept over at his house once. They built this other social life, where they travel and go out together while my friend was at home, claiming it was work-related. We bumped into her once, and she was at lunch with my friend's partner, and they got up and said, Hi! and had this elaborate speech about how amazing work is and how well they're doing, etc., etc., and how much business they'd done at their latest trip. Anyway, on three occasions, he didn't sleep at home and didn't show up until the next day. My friend freaked out, but he claimed he had overslept at a work party. Anyway, it all went down last night. My friend, I guess on instinct, hacked into her partner's iCloud, and crap went down. This woman was not his co-worker. She was his mistress. She's also pregnant, too. She's three months. They speak every day. He talks to her every day. He asked her not to get an abortion. So it's not his business partner. She's a medical school student. She was messaging him how to hide her body when she owed back to school in September. My friend found nudes, texts going back a long time, everything. Baby's first scan. Messages about how he will split life between the women. Him being happy when she had a positive test. The girl went to rent a freaking house near her medical school to do her best. The girl, per the messages, was saying she was scared. She wanted her mom. She wants to finish medical school. He told her he will step up and he will make it work and he will be there for her. He also began making arrangements with her to get a new car so he can drive to where her medical school is often. There was also a message from her partner's friend of two years saying congrats on a new pregnancy. You guys were a perfect couple. Apparently this friend didn't even know he was still with my friend. They had been going out and living life apparently. He messaged the girl saying, don't tell anyone yet, I want to tell her first after the baby is born. She knows this girl and has her number and proceeded to text the girl calling her home wrecker and she'll always be number one and go and abort the baby. Her baby has no dad, etc. Bad move. She basically texted her telling her to abort the kid. She called me to come over. I did. Anyway, the girl calls the partner at some point because he walks downstairs and tells her. She's pregnant. She's having the baby. I will be in the child's life and there's nothing you can do about it. It's done. Do not ever contact her again. Do not ever speak to her again. What's done is done. Do not ever contact her or any of her friends. He then told her he will make things right. He loves her, etc. My friend is nine months pregnant with nowhere to go. She's hormonal and scared. His iCloud was still hooked to her computer, and when he went back upstairs crying, we could see that immediately went, immediately, messages the girl saying, I've sorted it out. I've told her there's nothing she can do. I've told her I'll be in the child's life. I'm sorry, it's all going to be okay. I'm sorry this happened, but don't worry anymore, okay? The girl was sending crying emojis, saying she will be okay and she doesn't want to hurt anyone, blah, blah, blah. And he responds, it's okay, don't worry, I've sorted it out. She can't do anything to you anymore. He literally sent that as soon as he walked away crying. I have watched this situation for the last 24 hours, and I am here. The partner genuinely thinks this can work, and she has to accept it. How should she proceed? The first question comes from Queen Aurelia. Are they married? She needs to start to the divorce process ASAP. If so, and file for child support as soon as the baby is born. There is no working this out. Response? Nope, not married. She wants to make things work. Is there hope? Queen Aurelia responds again. I know how she feels. She wants to win. She wants him to want her. Being left for another person is the worst feeling in the world. But what is she fighting for? A man that lies, cheats, hurts the woman he supposedly loves, impregnated two women at the same time. This man is not worth fighting for. The OP responds, I am trying to make her see this is not realistic. 
How can she win anything when now her husband wants to go back and forth for his custody arrangement with this woman? He has been pretty firm that he will not change. So, my friend is destroyed. This woman was acting like her friend because we now know in order for them to be together, they had to basically find a way to exist around her and then involve them being around us constantly. D. Save says, Yeah, not so much on the partner's part. He has told her that he is not going to stop seeing his affair partner. So your friend needs to decide if she likes poly lifestyles or not. I suggest dumping him and getting a child support order entered immediately after birth, so she is first in line for enforcement. The OP says, He has said he will be in his child's life, and there's nothing she can do about that. Her fighting for the relationship is her hoping he only sees the child and not the affair partner. She went crazy on the affair partner saying she'll never have her man etc etc and affair partner should go away and abort. So I think she's hoping that her partner will co-parent with the affair partner and they can fight for the relationship. Her partner do not even seem remotely phased. It's clear he is very calm with this. You wanted an update? Well here it is. My best friend wanted a hardcore pick me mode. She ate all his lies and maybe was in denial and went on to hang on to him for dear life. She started cooking, cleaning, etc. She's nine months pregnant. She basically went into, I eat the medical school girl mode and I'm not leaving my man home, etc. mode. I didn't comment on this as I tried to just be her source of support and I did not know how he got her in to take care of our home mode. I believe he also said he will do anything to make it right with her. This lasted for all of a week. Anyway, about a week ago, he said he was off on a business trip. My friend at this point was due within one week or two weeks. He said he was off five days. He left for ten days. She was calling him every day to come home, hurry back, and he'd say he missed his flight. He was coming. My friend was cooking, cleaning, making sure the house was ready for his arrival. She was sending him photos to show him the house was ready. The baby's room was ready. Everything was ready. He kept saying he was getting the next flight. She was in hardcore, let's make this a home mode. I was incredibly concerned for her and I told her she must leave that house. She was alone. Do any day. Depressed, broken, lost, crying. I said, enough is enough. I was done. I got a truck, and over two days we packed everything of hers out of the house, and I moved her into my house. I have a spare room, so I put all the baby stuff in there and all her stuff in my room. Her parents will get her, but I was mortified that this man was so casual knowing she was due any day, and just so blasé about getting home to her. We were still tracking his iCloud, and the medical school student is still there. Frankly, I am concerned for her also now. She sounds young, dumb, and pardon my language, slow. All she does is send crying emojis about missing her mom, being scared about school, missing him, being scared for school, blah blah blah. Apparently, she just started medical school last year. She loves my friend's partner, and in turn he says, Don't worry, it's okay, I'll take care of you, we just need to sort all this out, etc, etc. Yesterday. My friend moved out as a desperate last resort. Even while we were packing, she was texting him saying, I'm heartbroken. The baby is due any day. Please come home. He said he was coming on the next flight. Clearly, he stayed for Memorial Day. I finally got in contact with him and, wow. I told him she is due any day now and I had to go and get her from the house as I was scared and she was alone. Guess what he said? Guess. She said she's going to her parents' house and frankly, that may be for the best. I do not want her to move back again. He completely flipped the switch. Now he is saying he does not want her to move back into his house. He sounds completely relieved that she's gone and said, He just wants to take care of his kid, and he doesn't want her to come back. When I spoke to him, he was going on about how he will be happy to be there, etc., but he doesn't want her moving back into his house. My friend was so broken by this as she thought leaving would shock him into action, but it has completely backfired. Today. He has finally come back to our town. He is in his house. My friend is still sending texts. I am just in pain and want you to be here for me. I honestly think her moving out is the best thing that's happened to him. He does not want my friend to come back. He shouted at me down the phone that she has moved out. I do not want her back. He will be at the hospital. She's doing anything to get him to see her, as in see her pain. He is still speaking to and close to medical student, who he now refers to as his family and speaks to in a loving message voice and refers to her by her nickname. They talk all day every day. His iCloud is still linked and we see everything. We are keeping evidence too. As soon as he saw my friend left, he texted the girl to tell her she's left and how happy he feels. I am genuinely concerned for the medical student and it sounds savage but I think she should terminate and run far 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 away from this man too. But I can tell she's in the thick of it. 
I'm not sure why this young girl would want to shackle herself to this man in situation. She keeps saying she misses mom, blah, blah, and I don't think she mentally realizes what she's in for. Me and my friend, I've been holding her and crying with her all day. I'm traumatized myself. I am traumatized. This entire road has been so much. She doesn't have many friends, and I've been front screen all this. The whole way. I was there the whole way in their house watching this crack show. Her parents are getting her tomorrow. I imagine he will come back at some point in the next few days. The baby girl will be born any day now. Medical student's baby is due in November. He appears to be the happiest he has ever been. Let's get some more comments. Not so friendly 007 says, The medical school girl is not slow. She's way smarter and calculative than your friend. She knows the more victim and innocent she'll play, the more this man will treat her better. This man doesn't want your friend and clearly wants to be with that girl. Of course removing out is the best thing for this man because he doesn't want her back. He doesn't love your friend. He loves the other woman. It's the harsh truth your friend needs to understand. Your friend needs support, but most importantly, she needs to get a grip on reality. Be there for her. She's in a bad place emotionally and physically. Now a comment from Throwaway and Furious. Seek legal. I get you were being a friend, but us telling you last time if she needs to seek legal, there was a reason. If she has abandoned the home, if he gets a good lawyer, they can argue property abandonment when she left, and she will miss out on money from the sale of the property, or being paid out from this guy. Time to do some damage control and make it clear in a paper trail she is, was, visiting, because she can't be by herself, because she is due to give birth, not that she left. Next, she must, 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 seek legal now. She has to get her head out of the sand, he isn't choosing her, she's going to miss out on support she needs if she doesn't seek legal now, like, today. I mentioned it before in the last thread, but things are only going to get worse, and once those new mother chemicals flood her system, once she gives birth, everything is going to seem a thousand times harder. She needs legal counsel. Or, she's going to shoot herself in the foot and will be penniless when she could have at least gotten some support. Someone needs to highlight what is going on. Blow this up. Social media, talk to this other girl's friends, and if you find them, family. Post screenies of conversations. All this is going on, but not once have I seen anyone mention putting a spotlight and making this public. If he has groomed this young girl shining a spotlight on the affair, the lies told will alert someone who cares for her to intervene. 